today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with a tag video and this is my beauty community tag uh, that is made by Cara C. I will leave her down in the description and this tag video, this tag is like the thing we need right now. I am so fed up with the, this thing that is going on on the internet right now. It feels like we are around 12 maybe and I am so sick of this. So I wanted to do this tag but this has been <laughs> so hard for me. I have like... <laughs> it's hard <laughs> because I want to talk about everybody and I can't do that because then it's going to be like such a long video. But I'm going to answer these questions and I have put a taken one or two people at each question and I am really trying <laughs> to keep this pretty short and like not wander off too much. So these are 10 questions that I'm going to answer and I don't know why I babble this much. So I think we just get started. The first question. Who is a creator that makes you laugh? And I feel like I'm going to answer the same thing that a lot of people do. Teresa is dead. I found Teresa through Paulina and I think she just had like a couple hundred subscribers then. And the first video I saw from Teresa where she did... She always does a story time. 99% of the time she do story time in the beginning of her videos and she is like the best storyteller ever. The first video I watched I laughed and I cried and uh, <laughs> I showed it to my boyfriend and he also laughed like it, it was so freaking funny and she really like can take something that it feels like if I would tell the story, it would be a boring story, but she like can tell a story. So she always makes me laugh and I also love that she doesn't care what she says. Or She has a garbage mouth and I love that because I just love that kind of people. I just love that and she always makes me laugh. If I want to laugh, I just go to Teresa's channel and watch one of her story times. Love them. Question number two. Who is a creator that teaches you? And I don't have an answer for this. And that's because I don't think makeup has any rules. I think you can do whatever you want. So I do not watch YouTube for like a tutorial purpose. I don't. And I like never type in like how to do a cut crease because I just do a cut crease. I just try it. So nobody and everybody because all the people that I watch, they l learn me something. But I have like nobody that I'm going now. Elsa start to eat again. Hope you can't hear her. And... I don't see YouTube as a teaching place for makeup. For me, I see it like an inspiration platform. So everybody and nobody. I. It's hard for me to like pinpoint that this person has taught me this one. This technique. Somebody has taught me. Because I don't know. Question number three. Who is a creator that lifts others up? And I have took a net for this and there I could like fit all the people in to every one of the categories feels like but I took a net because I have known a net since she had maybe like 200 subscribers or something and she is still the same person as as she was in the beginning of course she has evolved but she is still like the same sweet caring person that she's been from the beginning and she also though like she can do a collab with whoever 
I know people, I follow people that is like, I can't do it. I have 25, 25,000 subscribers, so I can't do a collab with someone that has below 10,000. And I'm like, okay, are you just doing a collab to get subscribers? I do collabs because it's fun and it feels like Annette. She really does that. She sees something in a person and like, I want to collab with that one. And she does it and she doesn't see the numbers. And I think she's really good to lift others up on Instagram as well. So I took Annette from Annette's makeup corner. So next question, number four, <laughs> who is a creator that you respect? And here I could say a lot, but I have chosen two people. First is Paulina from Paulina's Beauty. That is, she's one, she has one of my absolute favorite channels. I have followed Paulina for such a long time and I really, really respect her. Mostly because she, if you follow Paulina, she had a break for a couple of months and she was like, this isn't a good place for me right now. So she just stopped doing videos and I respect that so much. Sometimes I feel that I like want to take a pa pause, pause. Like I want to like take a little break from YouTube, but I, I can't for some reason. But I really respect Paulina for like saying, it's enough, I'm going to take a break. I will be back when I will be back. And I really, really respect her for that. And then I also took Angelica Nyqvist on this and I have met Angelica and I don't know how she does this. She puts out like five, sometimes six videos a week. They are long, they are good on edit, they are really good videos and she works full time. And I do it as well and I'm like, how the hell? Question number five, who is a creator whose collection you love? And I need to say Jessica on this one. It feels like a lot of people that I watch doing this tag video says Jessica from Stars Hollow with Jessica. But she has an amazing collection. I have been to Jessica and I have seen it in real life. And it is like even better then you see it on camera. And the thing that I really love about Jessica, I am not an organized person and she is so organized and everything has its place. It doesn't look unfulfilled. It looks, it's just perfect. I, I, I don't know how she can be that organized, but I love her collection and I just, I want to live in your makeup room, Jessica. Can I do that, please? Question number six. Who is a creator whose creativity inspires you? And I have to say, I have two people in this one as well, and I have to start with Butte Bean, Betty Jean. She is like my house god of grungy makeup. I love her makeup style. She has been the one that like, inspired me the most to mo do more grunge and I just I love like every look she does she can do like a pastel look grungy and I love that and she inspires me with like doing something new and with the faux cut crease she inspired me with that and I really love her style if I want to take someone's style it is Betty Jeans. I I just love it. I, she is so, so cool. And the other one is Anki. And she inspires me with like, she always have, I love her lipsticks. She do like a blue lip, a green lip, a purple lip. I really love that. I can be kind of bold with my lips, but not like Anki. And it is amazing. And she also does such an amazing looks. They are so like shimmering in your face and I really love that. I can play a lot with makeup but like I can't do that. And she has like blue brows, purple brows. I just love it. She inspires me. She has such a cool style. Everything is like so put together. With me it looks like a mess 
like my hair is yeah I, I don't know but Anki she looks so freaking cool and if I could take somebody's lip collection I would take Anki's because so so good Next question, who is a creator you like to be friends with in real life? And when I watch Debbie's, she's like, do you consider internet friends as real life friends? And I ask the same. I have a lot of friends on YouTube that I would like to be friends in real life with. Some of them I am, and some of them I consider to be my real friends. My friends in real life even though we have never met in person um so i don't know but one person <laughs> that i was really would like to meet is bailey sarian because she does makeup mystery mondays make murder makeup mystery mondays it's good that i don't know the name if you don't know this about me i love murders that is like my favorite thing. I only listen to podcasts about murders. I only like watch documentaries on murders. I love murders and some people are a little bit iffy like that when, I, when, I, when they ask like what do you like to listen to when I'm like murders? People are like are you okay? So I would love to meet her and be friends with her and just talk about murders. Sounds like I want to kill somebody. I don't. I think the I would be pretty good. The creator you hope to see grow. And here I couldn't take only two. Here I could say so so many but I have chosen three people to talk about. First up is Angelica Liremar. She's a friend of mine. We have met three times. I don't really know but Angelica she is so like professional in what she's doing like in a good way I love like her setup I love how she like editing her videos I love she just feel I don't know it's like so professional in a good way and she also is like she does a lot of fun videos, she does a lot of testing new makeup and I think she deserves so much more subscribers and she is so so sweet. So you should follow Angelica Liremar if you don't do it. And then I want to shout out Debbie, she has finally reached 1000, 1000. I don't know why it took so long. Uh, Debbie is a friend of mine. We have done some collabs and we talk sometimes on Instagram and I really adore Debbie. I think she is like, she's older and I love that because like makeup has no age and I love that she do like crazy colorful bold makeup and are like too old for makeup as someone would say and I really like her Get Ready With Me's. She does really long Get Ready With Me's and I love to have her as a company if I'm doing maybe the dishes or I'm cleaning or something or sorting my makeup. I love to have on one of the best Get Ready With Me's and she's so kind as a person and I am so happy that I have met Debbie and you should really really check her out. She has an amazing channel. And the last one is Katie from Makeup for Last Time. She is kind of new to me. Um, she was in the same collab when we did Bye Bye Blush Tribe. And she is so unique. She is really like honest. She's raw. She's out there. I just love that about her. She can like... She's really herself on camera. I feel like. And... She does an amazing looks. It's so much color. I just love her looks and I love that she can be so open with her life. She is an ex-addict and I, she's really unique. <laughs> so I think you definitely should check her out. She's so so cool. 
Question number nine. Who is a creator that gives off a good vibe? And here I'm going to say Nikki Raven. Nikki, she is so funny. I love to watch Nikki's videos because in the beginning she has like some takeouts and they are so funny. And also I can really like see myself in Nikki when she struggles because she doesn't have English as her first language either. And I just feel you, Nikki. I know how it feels like you know the word, but you can't say it. I know exactly how that feels. And <laughs> I like every time I watch Nikki and she like, you can see on her that it's like, what am I saying? I like, I know Nikki. I know exactly that feeling. And she is just so positive and I really love that about her. She is really funny and yeah, she gives off a good vibe. I really like Nikki. And the last one is honorable mentions and I'm going to leave some channels down in the description that I haven't talked about. It was so hard to like I can't talk like about eight people uh, on each question, but there is so many more that I want to shout out, but I'm not going to mention any channels or names now because I know I'm going to forget someone. So if you want some new channels in your feed, I will leave some down in the description that you have to check out. So yeah, it feels like I'm talking to like forever my throat is like sore so i really hope you like this video and if you have a channel and hasn't done this video just do it the beauty community needs more love right now i think and this is such an amazing tag video and i have been loving that my feed has been full of love and support so yeah i really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope i'll see you in the next one bye